Photography just came in the sudden. I bought this nice fine camera when my first daughter came to life and for me I realized there is uh, something mysterious with the photographs that I haven't been in touch with before. I use my, uh, myself and my body and the performance uh, a lot in the work. In unlawful meetings I was performing as a spy. I had uh, to make research about this, um, uh, the phenomena of uh, meeting. I could sit there in hours and just uh, make some notes. And in the beginning I was hiding behind the trees and just going around the places from a very far distance. It wasn't uh, good enough to me because I couldn't come too close and I wasn't sure of what I was taking pictures of. Um, but later then I was so lucky to have an assistant and my assistant, he knew about all of these meeting places. Inside the car I could put my cameras and begin uh, filming sometimes or taking these photographs. This is my closest thing, what I had to, um, what I was actually very lucky to be so close to this couple. And this is the gallery uh, of the school. <laughs> it doesn't stop uh, halfway, never did that, but sometimes it just don't work. <laughs> No one's here. <laughs> this is the work. It is different. Uh, it's different couples and different people and different places and different times. Um, but I mean, if you if you follow the um, the signs and look at the work, you will see some some of the things that are strange, like. This couple here, she's wearing the hijab and he's sitting beside her and they are talking and when I zoom out of the picture I can see there's another woman sitting in the back. Um, and this couple, I, I was very, I don't know, they, they, they were meeting there and they, were, they went also, they had this small walk too. But this lady, I think she's the mother of her. She was walking three, four steps behind them <laughs> all the time. So that's why I wanted to keep her in the photograph. I uh, have decided to show the work only in this size. Uh, I think it's seven, seven centimeters. Uh, because I want to offer the viewer the intimacy I had during making these photographs. Also because of respecting actually the phenomena. I don't want to expose it. To, uh, I don't think it gives the sense to me to, to expose it to something so big. Um, some people were uh, concerned because they only heard about it and they, uh, they actually assumed that everyone will be revealed. Uh, so um, one girl, she called me and she was terrified and she told me that she was uh, taking part of some meetings uh, and she was afraid that I'm going to expose her. And I told her, did you see the work? And she said, no. And I told her and assured her no one is um, recognized in the work, it's all anonymous. Uh, and then she was, oh, thank you. <laughs> Um, my biggest inspiration is the Quran and in my work I, I want to know uh, the relationship between the facts and the rules in Quran and the way people is uh, trying to live with them uh, in, in Denmark or in other places too. I read the Quran and then I follow some of the things I find very interesting and I go and try to understand uh, and ask questions, negotiate with some Imams in uh, Copenhagen um, and after that I go to my way of uh, um,
developing a project. My first chapter is um, called No Win uh, with Hijab. And I made it when I went to a photography school. I was very um, drawn by the idea of how my mother and my, uh, some of my mother friends changed uh, totally when they put the hijab on themselves and when they take it off. And the idea of this transforming was uh, uh, really fascinating for me. So I started to uh, stand in the upward station uh, for three, four hours every day, carrying my camera and some light and uh, a white material, uh, asking all uh, job wearing ladies to take it off for me and to show me the hair. And they, of course, said no. I, uh, I asked the imam if I uh, come to a um, hairdresser place and I find the hair of the Muslim uh, hijab where the woman uh, on the floor, would it be a sin to show it to anyone else? And he said, no, because no one can see this woman. I asked him to write this down to me and I took the document. I was showing the document in Upward State to all of the girls and it was a way of convincing them to do this without causing them troubles. The first one I um, photographed um, was a, a lady in, I don't know, a very young lady and she was wearing the hijab for 20 years. I haven't even thought of, of the places where to go, so I, we went to McDonald's toilet. <laughs> and uh, in there I just found this white wall and I put the white uh, material on her shoulder and I put some lights on the hair and <laughs> took the picture. Uh, no Wind project is actually ongoing and uh, my, uh, my goal is to have 15 maybe 20 portraits of hair.